uh, to have the senior class um, get recognized today. It's always a very emotional moment for them and their families. I remember mine like it was yesterday. And that class, man, I mean, it's, it's hard to it's hard to put into words or numbers what they've done. Um, I tell people all the time, there's a, a six-year group, Dan and Trust. There's a five-year group, which is crowded. I think you know you guys know. Then there's a four-year group. So we're honoring the four-year group. The four-year group's want to set the record. But that group that was here six years, Trust and Dan, I mean, we say 51 wins. They were part of more than that. And uh, they set a standard here. And if you make it six and five years in our program, you're a tough dude. And I appreciate those, those, those seniors, their families. I mean, the guys that, that never get their name called um, and go out there and work. Colin, a great quarterback. I mean, this guy has gone live and been our running quarterback all year and taking shots. And I'm just so glad he got to get in the game at the end there. And, and a lot of other guys that don't get to play, I was really proud of those guys and what they did. Um, didn't play real well defensively, obviously. Uh, disappointing there. Uh, probably the best thing we need for a wake-up call. Uh, played really well offensively, but we, we, we overmatched our opponent. So uh, with that, I'll open it up. With the defense, was it as simple as just poor tackling, or, or did something else stand up to you? I, I don't know that it was just tackling. We did not tackle well, but it was more than just tackling. It was, uh, you know, like I, I hate to say it, I just don't think that our guys were ready to play and energized to play. Yes, their guys were. Their guys wanted it more than us. And it's very rare that I could sit up here and say that. Like, they were playing harder. They were moving us. They were playing physical. They, uh, they had some nice RPOs and some nice uh, play designs, but it wasn't about that. It was, I want to, like desire. That's the biggest thing. Unusual in that you got a chance to see Tech play the other night. Uh, what's your thoughts as you get ready for them and, and what they're going to bring in with that kind of two quarterback right thing? <clears throat> Yeah, I, I didn't get, I mean, I got to see some of the game, we, you know, we, we'll, we'll be working on ourselves first and clean that up and then uh, start getting ready for those guys. I mean, we, 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 we break down their tape each and every week they play. We break down everybody we play. So, you know, during the off week, we got to look at them a little bit and see them. And then uh, some of the guys got to see them Thursday night. Uh, we get through a little bit earlier. But uh, we're moving on with them now. they got a great program, great team. They're extremely physical. They run the ball well. They run with the quarterback well. Um, and we, we got to play better. What are the challenges and differences in the short week? <coughs> it's just that. I mean, we got six days instead of seven days, so we have one less day. Carter, what do you see from um, Carter, what do you see from Nate Frazier practice this week? Knowing him, knowing he had kind of carried the load, and just ultimately, what do you think of his performance today? Uh, <coughs> nothing different. He did the same thing this week. He's done every week. He uh, competes at practice. He gets better. Um, I mean, he had a big physical offensive line against small guys, and uh, that created a huge advantage for us. I just thought there's been a lot of football to fight and one more, but how will you remember this senior class? Probably for the ups and downs and the, 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 the way they've handled, uh, you know, they were part of two national championships. They are part of an undefeated regular season team that had one loss and didn't get to play for it, and then their story still be written in their last year. And, um, I mean, they'll be remembered for uh, – being great leaders and, uh, and being extremely you know, bought in and uh, pushing the younger players this year and last year, which is important. But they also learned from a, a really good group. You know, they had older brothers that were that were very good leaders. You have an update on Christian Miller? Uh, no. Something with his shoulder. Uh, I'm not real sure exactly what. Uh, I don't know. I think they put it back in. They had dislocated and they put it back in, but I'm not sure. Aaron says that uh, you make sure it's very important they understand the rivalry of the Cleveland Bastion. Why do you find it so important? He said sometimes he feels like that you say you don't feel like they totally understand that rivalry. <laughs> well, I don't know. We have kids from all over, right? They have kids from all over. And they, if you don't grow up in this state, sometimes you don't acknowledge and recognize that rivalry. I think our, 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 our players, our current players, understand it. If you've been in our program for four years, you definitely understand it. But 50% of our team is either a freshman or new from a portal. And they didn't. They didn't. They didn't know. They weren't. They weren't part of it. They, they haven't been part of it. So um, it's something that's important. It's instilled early in your career here. And, and I mean, we got lots of rivalries. This is one of the biggest ones. Brent, Brent Key likes to talk about how important this game is. Georgia, Georgia Tech for him. The only guy to play there, and you played at Georgia. Is it the same way for you? Yeah, all games are important, right? I mean, it's, it's a huge game. It's a rivalry game. It's the end of the year. It's in the interstate. Uh, it's conference. It's you're, you're representing your state, your program, and your conference. Coach, 30 straight wins. Is that important to you? 30 straight home wins, sorry. Uh, um, <coughs> it's important.
important because it's the next one, you know. And, uh, the next one will be just as important as this one was. So it's one of those that uh, you, you don't get that without a great home atmosphere. You don't get that without uh, great leadership on your team. You don't get that without a great coaching staff and great players. Um, so you know, we, we, we got to step up. And you want to be part of a championship team, you got to win your home games. That's what I've always said. The best teams in Georgia win their, 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 uh, their home games. They go undefeated at home. And we've got a chance to do that uh, Saturday, uh, Friday, which they just did it too. Coach, you know, the game, but you were able to finally get some of your, your walk ons and other backups into the game, you know, for one of the first time. How, how cool is that to see once you know? I mean, because you know how obviously how hard these walk on guys were to get a chance. Just wish we'd have got more. Yeah. Just disappointed we didn't get an opportunity to, to play more. Um, and, and that's what we, you know, we talked about holding the standard all week for the other guys, and uh, we probably didn't hold that standard in, in terms of defense to get other guys an opportunity to play. And uh, I hate that, but I am proud of the ones that did get to, the ones who got to go out there and play and compete because they've earned the right to do that. You got the chance to see Ellis Robinson yeah. and Miller Jones out there. How important were those reps for them, especially late in this game? We should get them more. The plan was to get them more. We wanted to get them more, but uh, you know, we weren't playing real well uh, defensively, and uh, they continue to get better. They, uh, they, they, they practice really hard. They practice smart. I think Dante's done a great job with them. Both of those two guys have ascended throughout this year in terms of ball skills, awareness, tackling, instincts. They keep getting better and better, and uh, their moment's coming. We just don't we just don't know what it is. Chris Cole with the scoop and score. What have you seen from him uh, in these last few weeks? One of the hardest workers. He and Justin work extremely hard. They're number one. They're, they're, they're high character, super intelligent, come from great families, and they both work really hard. You know, Chris is has had a little more success this year, uh, got more playing time than Justin, but they, they're like best friends and they uh, they work really hard and they're very they're very demanding of themselves. <coughs> and Gabe Harris, you know, made that sack fumble happen. That was a great get off, great rush by him and he's worked really hard. Back to back in games for Carson Beck, zero interceptions, only one of the past three games. So just what have you seen from him, the adjustments he's made? Of course he credits the offensive line and receivers as well. But what have you seen from him? I haven't really seen anything different. I mean, you guys read into the stats. You just look at the stats and say, "Ooh, clean game." You know, there's probably some throws there that could have been picked, but there's also some 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 plays in the other games that shouldn't have been picked. So I look at decision making and process, and uh, he processes information really well, and he executes the offense really well. What about uh, some explosives today, in particular that, uh, that long pass down the sideline? Would you see? Oh, nice. You, you gave up a 75-yard. Yeah. Touchdown, he had Absolutely. pretty good coverage. Yeah, we didn't play the ball. So, you know, it's elementary. You play the ball and then you tackle the man with the ball. If the man catches the ball, it's okay. Catch and run with the ball, it's not okay. And that's not all on Daniel. You know, I got to watch the film, but Dan knocked him off. I mean, you got to hit your target, you know, so the two level, got to finish the play, you got to get the guy on the ground. That's, that's, you know, I mean, flu plays like that may happen, but the 200 yards rushing is much more concerning than a flu play. You know, like that that, that bothers me way more than the, the pass and catch. What do you see out of Oscar? Three touchdowns the past two games and a couple big catches. Yeah, Oscar's working hard. He competes. He, Ben, and, and Love, man, they, they, they're workers. Hartley does a great job with them, demanding excellence. Um, Carson does a good job getting them the ball. He's proud of those guys' competitive nature. I mean, he, he kind of made that one. That was one that... You know, you can't say it was a play action like the ones we were last week. It was he broke tackle and he burst down the sideline and got the ball across the, the goal line. So Go the Robinson running backs at least suited up today. How close are they to get back? Yeah, don't know. Um, Branson was doing more last week than Rod, uh, uh, although Rod was was kind of with the training staff. Branson did get to do some individual and do some cutting. Um, I don't know. I didn't get to see him today. Obviously, they ran, but I don't know how much cutting they did. And, We'll continue to work those guys. We're hopeful to get them back soon. Coach, I know uh, you possibly wanted a touchdown start third quarter, but but Peyton to get kind of get that get that field goal, get some points out of that. How big was that? Yeah, that was huge. Was that the long one? That was the long one, right? That was the only one of the day. Yeah, it's 52 or 53 yarder. I mean, he's been really consistent, and that was actually into the win. So it was right around the <clears throat> the line gain that we thought we needed. Uh, thought if we got more than that, it would be easy to go for it if we could. And, uh, He's been he's been really consistent, man. I mean, the operation, the snap hold, protection has been good, and uh, it's a uh, it was a great kick. Where did you see out of Gunner last uh, in the fourth quarter there? Wish he got to play more. You know, wish he got to play more. Wish he could have played more guys at quarterback. But 
I thought he operated well. He didn't have the, I think he had the, 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 <clears throat> the better line one time, and then we had the other group come in and, uh, you know, didn't get to play a whole lot. But he's played well in the last couple of weeks. He's practiced well and done some good things. So I was very happy he got to get in. I just wish it had been longer. Coach, I remember the first couple of games of the season, Dave Frazier was still trying to get the hang of the offense. How have you seen him during this back throughout the season? More confidence. You know, he's still, he's still learning things. Uh, he still uh, messes up, but he's electric. He's different when the ball hits his hands. He bursts in the hole. He's uh, probably sometimes too fast. He doesn't. He's not patient sometimes. But you talk about a kid that runs hard, works hard, and, and loves it. And uh, those linemen love, uh, love, love playing with him. You haven't had too many games this season where you're done uh, this time of day. Uh, you're going to go to home and watch football tonight, or do you the short week uh, change that? Short week change. We've got uh, we've got recruits in. We've got OVs in. We've got to go to dinner with them. We've got to recruit them. I'm trying to get out of here now so I can go do that and then raid this film <laughs> and, uh, and and put this game to bed. We're on a quick time clock. We got to put this game to bed really quickly. Oh, Ole Miss went down today. Are you aware of that? And do you are you even a briefed on the scenarios that could happen to possibly get you in that game? Get us in what game? The SEC. Yeah, I'm worried about Georgia Tech, man. Like I, yeah. that's all I'm thinking about. I could care less about anybody else in the world but my team and how we get ready in six days for those there. Got time for one more question? Anybody? Thanks, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.